What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. If you're trying to play Battlefield 6 and you're getting an undefined error much like this here, this is the exact one that I'm getting. Yours though, of course, could be different. In this video, I'll show you a couple of solutions to fix this, especially if you haven't actually played the game since it released, since you downloaded it, etc. For now, close out of your game completely and press start, type in CMD and open up command prompt as administrator. Then inside of here, type in ipconfig space forward slash release, then ipconfig once more, forward slash flush DNS, then ipconfig forward slash renew, and finally net sh space int space ip reset and hit enter. After you've done all of these things, essentially your networking driver slash connection on your PC should be reset and you might be able to launch up the game and play properly. Let's see if that works. And unfortunately, this didn't work for me. I'll close it and we'll try the next thing, which is hitting start, typing in security and opening up Windows security. Inside of here, we'll head into virus and threat protection. And then if you're using a third party antivirus software, you won't be able to continue with the steps here. However, you should see something along the lines of this here. At the very bottom where it says ransomware protection, choose manage ransomware protection. And if controlled folder access is turned on, which for me, it wasn't, head into allow an app through controlled folder access, choose yes, add an allowed app, recently blocked apps, and you should see in this list here, Battlefield 6. If not, choose add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then navigate to wherever the game is installed. Usually it'll be C, program files 86, followed by Steam, EA, or wherever you have it installed, Steam apps, common Battlefield 6, and you'll select bf6.exe. Then we'll also add another exception, and we'll add EA anti-cheat game service launcher.exe as well. That's it. If you're still having issues inside of your Windows security panel, head across to, on the far left, firewall and network protection, and then allow an app through the firewall. Clicking this, we can then from here, click change settings in the top right, allowing us to change options, and we'll need to locate Battlefield 6 on this list. Then tick it on the far left, and then tick private and public on the far right. If it's not in this list already, you'll need to allow another app, and again, we'll be navigating to Battlefield 6 and selecting both BF6 and that EA anti-cheat. EXE. Once you've done so, they'll appear on the list and you can allow them access through your Windows firewall. Ultimately, if those simple fixes didn't help you, which in my case they really haven't, I'd recommend first of all restarting your PC completely, test it again, especially if you just happen to install a game, maybe the anti-cheat's still setting up or something along those lines, or programs running in the background are interfering with the game as it's starting up. That also being said, I've heard some successful fixes from some weird people for things as strange as disconnecting any USB device that isn't a mouse, keyboard, headset, and see if things work properly. That includes you be storage, etc. Finally, if you're still not having success, locate the game in Steam. If you have it there, right click, select properties, and on the installed files tab, select verify integrity of game files. This will be about the same for both the Xbox app and of course the EA app too. Just verify your files and make sure everything's there as it's supposed to be. For me at least, I'll probably try a full restart and see if that helps. Of course, a restart didn't fix anything for me. However, I did actually find a fix. When I head across to the manage downloads tab here, you can see Battlefield 6 is not released. I can launch it and hit the main menu. Other people are playing it. It's just Steam that's having an issue. I can click Steam in the top left, exit, restart it, and it still says the same issue. This also prevents me from right-clicking, properties, installed files, and verifying integrity, as it just keeps telling me game not released. If you're getting this error and you pre-installed Battlefield 6, so it unpacked, did all that stuff, when the game released, try completely uninstalling the game, reinstalling it, and things should be working a bit better. Once I did that, I'm able to just play the game, hit the menu, and of course, play the campaign, multiplayer, etc. Everything is perfect. A verify integrity of game files would have fixed my problem, but I actually can't do that. With Steam being weird, probably just today, this might be fixed in the future. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.